the Indianapolis 500, the center of the racing world. This is race day at Indianapolis. At the end of the grueling grind for man and machine is victory. Danger for all, glory for one. This racetrack has been the scene of some of the most spectacular and some of the most glorious moments in the entire world of sport. But this year, a powerful force looms on the horizon, the rumblings of something the greatest spectacle in racing has never seen before. Boys, move over! Danica Patrick wins a twin ring Motegi! Elio Castro Neves, two in a row! Marco Andretti, can a teenager win in Indianapolis? Here comes Graham Rahal. Say hello to a new star. As the world's best drivers unite on this sacred oval, they bring with them racing's perfect storm. Elio Castroneves remains the only driver to win in his first two attempts here. A third victory may be brewing, but there are generations of turbulence standing in his way. Marco Andretti and Graham Rahal descendants of indie champions they have grown up in the high pressure system that is racing in two attempts here this young gun narrowly missed both victory and tragedy while this 19 year old stormed to the checkered flag in his first indycar race even as tradition feeds their fury the winds of change blow with a historical vengeance Danica Patrick shatters the gender barrier that has surrounded Victory Lane for nearly a century. Still, there remains a promise she made to herself. The one thing missing from this room, though, is the Indianapolis 500 trophy. She has made plenty of noise on this track. Danica Patrick going side by side with Weldon, showing the leader in turn number one. Oh, my goodness. It's time for the skeptics to find shelter from this storm. The eye of racing's perfect storm is thundering down upon us. A mighty vortex that has raged almost a hundred years. A high-speed tempest so powerful, it has been given a name. The Indianapolis 500.